Cade, looking at these early swings, you have one of the most radical golfing swings that I've seen. Um, another problem is when you stride, the hands don't come back. You don't maximize your power. Look at that. They don't come back. You're just kind of punching at it. And um, there's so many things fundamentally wrong with this swing that we started it at the bare bone scratch. Here's Frank Kennedy. Watch when he strides, he pulls his hands back. See, you don't pull your hands back. That swing may go over number four to watch it's called connection. Where the hands pull back and the hips are connected to the hands. Here's your stab and your lag. Here Frank Henry rotates and he has that knob go on a straight line. Nice straight hand path, he creates a lag there and then that flows right into a snap where the wrist snaps sideways against each other and then there's a long follow through with one arm finish, just smooth all the way around. And you can see on yours it's just a dip and a lift, it's a bad pitch but nothing really changes, it's, it's the same swing. Now here's Andrew Collins, watch the snap, there's a rotation lead arm comes forward with the rotation following it in an arc and then the top hand and the wrist snap against one another to bring us a really good snap. So here we start to work on the on the lag which is good. Here your hips throw on the frisbee, really get a nice angle, get a good weight transfer and rotation. Here's the stab again working with the uh, bungee cord. We can also use that for a bat on the hip drill. Good angle, good rotation. The first swings here were rough. Look at the, look at the big loop in it. This took a long time to try to figure that out, how to get that straight. The knob goes up, you lose the swing. Here we work a little bit on the snap. And here again, you're very loopy. So what we did is take you back to the guide rope and I had you start to do some lead arm drills where you understand that, that um, if the lead arm turns properly, it brings it back right along the rope. And when you snap, it'll follow right along the rope. Much improved there by doing the lead arms and understanding that the, that the lead form has to turn. That's a little bit down, but far better. And your hips are doing a good job rotating. You want to get that one arm finished, which you came and kind of went for you, but look at that, what a, what a splendid job. What a huge difference between what it was before. Again, we want to have a full one arm finish at the end, but uh, vastly, vastly improved. <clears throat> Using the pipe, there wasn't, that was a little, pretty low plane, but the golfiness has gone out of that swing. Now right here, that side snap, if you look at right here, are we really snapping hard into something like an axe head into a tree? No, we kind of ride over the top of it, so we need to get more focus on, look at there, he goes from lag to snap, right into the middle of the ball. Right here, lag to snap, that's better. You start to think, hey, when I rotate off that lag, when I snap my wrist together and bring that bad head from lag to impact, it's a good square hit on it. Um, just vastly improved. Is it perfect? No. You can get a little bit better weight transfer and stride, but even here I like the fact that you finish well. That's a better strike in the ball. One arm finish. Just in one lesson here you've improved just a ton, changing a huge looping uppercut. Alright, here's some of the live swings at the end. That's actually a good cut swing. Again, if you focus on that snap, that side snap where you, where you do the lag and then your wrist snaps sideways against one another, bring that bad head clean into the ball. Uh, might give you a better visual and a better focus on getting um, you know, square hit on the ball. But overall, just a tremendous job on the improvement. There you're kind of riding up over it. Think to yourself, am I really bearing an ax into a tree or bearing the bad head into the ball? Probably not, so that focus is gonna help you out a lot. I'll have another video for you on the snap, but, but anyhow, overall, huge improvement. Look at, just look at how much flatter that is. What'd you think of the senior DeMarini? Oh, this thing has a lot of pop in it. Yeah, that wasn't me. That was, this thing has a lot of. A and lot that's of 28 ounces. Is that too heavy for you? Does it feel good? No, 28. That's exactly what I use. So you would say thumbs up on the Larry Carter? Oh, definitely, yeah. <laughs> this is a 10 right here.